Right now, though, it is Arbor Week, and you know what? It's up to all of us to plant as many trees as possible to try and offset our carbon footprint. And you know what? So there is, there's literally like 100,000 species of different trees all over the world. So how do you know which kind of tree to plant? Well, Kat went to find out. The focus on Arbor Week is promoting our own indigenous plants, and I'm looking to plant something that is truly, proudly South African. But what? I think I'll leave that answer to an expert. Jackie Goliath runs Defena, a nursery just outside Wellington which specializes in growing indigenous plants and fanebooks. I was in the right place for some green advice. Jackie, I'm looking for a tree or a plant that'll help me offset the carbon emissions that I make. So what do you think is the best for the job? Looking at your carbon emissions and also remembering that it's Arbor Week, you should actually go for a tree that is water-wise to this area. I would also suggest that you plant a tree that grows in the full sun. But while we're talking about the carbon emissions, why don't we plant something indigenous? Something like the speckworm, maybe? And so what is it that makes the speckworm so special? One speckworm takes out a hundred times more carbon emission than one pine tree of the same size. Don't you think that's incredible? That is very, very cool. Clearly you found a very effective way of managing this large scale crop. How is it found? Well, speckworm is very easy to grow. I mean, it's part of the succulent family, so you can think it doesn't use a lot of water and it can grow almost anywhere. All right, so you can easily take a cutting of it, put it in the ground and it will root very, very easy. Because it is a succulent plant, commercial farmers can use it as a firebreak. A lot of the animals like to eat it as well. So that is only some of the parts that you can use from the speckworm. Here at the Fainer, we are working towards the farming for the future edit. And some of the stuff that we really do is we recycle. We recycle our water and we recycle our waste. So looking at the farming for the future, I think it's the best thing to do, to look after your environment and also for, um, for the future. From a backyard business with a thousand plants, today Defena grows over 600,000 plants as part of Woolworths' pioneering Farming for the Future initiative. Farming for the Future is really all about how we can work with our suppliers to make sure we produce food sustainably into the future. So it's about reducing inputs like chemicals, pesticides and fertilizer really managing our water resources carefully, um, looking at biodiversity impacts on farms and promoting that, and making sure that we can continue to sell good quality food into the future. One hectare of speckworm can capture four tons of carbon from the atmosphere per year. My choice was an easy one. So Jackie, how would one plant a speckworm like this? This particular speckworm is planted in a compostable pot, meaning that you can take this plant and put it directly into the soil. The compostable pot is biodegradable, meaning that it will break down with time. And as it breaks down, the nutrients will feed the plant. Don't you think that's amazing? That is wonderful. So how about taking care of it at home? It is important that you plant it directly into the full sun so that it can give out a lot of oxygen for you. But it's a hardy plant and it actually doesn't need a lot of attention. And you said you can eat it? Oh yes, you can. Use it in a nice fresh salad and you get all the nutrients and healthy healthiness of a speckworm into your system. Mm. Local is lacking. The speckworm is also known as pork bush or elephant food, and it's just one of the many indigenous plants and fainbow species available from Woolworths, which are grown in harmony with nature and Jackie by her team. The great rewarding feeling one gets from planting an indigenous plant like this comes from the fact that you know that by doing so, you're not only supporting local businesses, but you're also helping South Africa to conserve its natural resources.